Okay, very good morning, everyone, and welcome to the briefing for Thursday, the 27th of April. So first off, having a look at the synoptic, we see you know, the Atlantic is very much in charge of our weather at the moment with this uh, developing system out to the west. Uh, and today it's going to be throwing a couple of fronts at us. We've got the midday chart on here, uh, and it's painting on here this occluded front, uh, followed by this warm front that will probably be coming through uh late uh, this afternoon slash into the evening you can see if we go ahead to midnight it's all sort of just passed through to the northeast uh winds today at flying height we're looking slightly east of uh south about 20 to 25 knots so, uh, so reasonably brisk in a slightly challenging direction uh cloud amounts you can see uh yeah we're pretty cloudy over the whole country um, and it looks like you can start to see some showers out to the southwest, uh, just down in the channel here, uh, which will be coming over for us later. And the rain radar is showing locally to us nothing at the moment, uh, but this stuff out to the west and southwest uh, that again is going to be coming over us later. And yeah, if we have a look at the head office rainfall forecast, uh, mm -hmm. looks like as we go to about two o'clock, uh, some of this will get quite close to us and looks like it's going to be here by about half past three so anywhere between two and three or four o'clock it um, looks like it's likely to become unflyable uh, with this rain coming across and then going to be fairly wet for the rest of the day and it's unlikely it's going to improve so there's been an evening out of it and that aligns to the public forecast which is suggesting rain from 4 p.m and then uh, rain all evening until well, uh, quite late and then just fog overnight. Uh, but otherwise, until then, a reasonably nice day, um, reasonably warm, 10 degrees, uh, compared to what we've been having. And that wind from the southeast and good visibility. Top temperature today, GFS is saying potentially 12 degrees in this area with a dew point of about seven, so a reasonable split there. And that's the current view outside. A um, little bit gloomy, but uh, that cloud is mostly a uh, reasonably high level, so uh, not affecting us at the moment. Current temperature is 9 degrees, 2.4.4. And Farnborough, uh, their last observation was 9 knots of wind from the east-southeast. Um, yeah, that was reasonably recent. Uh, good visibility. They haven't reported on clouds, but I think what there is is reasonably high. Their forecast, a little bit out of date, but they're suggesting wind from the east still. Uh, clouds are 4,500 feet and a 40% chance of rain from 2 p.m. Uh, so yeah, they're probably about right there. And just have a look at the soaring forecast for you, although I, I doubt that very much. You see thermals at midday. It's yeah, same potentially convection to about 2,000 feet. Um, any distance? Yeah, yeah, so a little bit of soaring to be had uh, throughout the middle of the day, I expect. Um, although I doubt many people will be going cross country. Uh, no TAMs. Uh, there isn't actually anything that's going to affect us here at Lasham. Uh, this really big one here, number 32, is just an amendment to the uh, coronation fly past No TAM, uh, but it doesn't affect us yet. Uh, number 24 over here, uh, high intensity radio and transmissions uh, just out to the west of Lasham. Other than that, most of the Salisbury Plain danger areas are activated, uh, but again, no, nothing is going to be affecting us on the circuit here at Lasham. And that's pretty much it for the weather. So operationally, uh, will be 09. Those of you that were here yesterday, it's going to be the same setup. So the launch point here somewhere, and we'll have the winch offset down to the south, just on the pan here. Okay, with the cables running along there. So about here. Cables will be on the south side of the gliders. So if we have the gliders right up against the edge of the runway, um, that allows as much space as possible left for the landing area. Um, but that's pretty much it for me. Should be a reasonably straightforward day and looks like we're gonna get uh, flying to about three or four o'clock. I'll see you out on the airfield. Bye for now.